In this video, we'll work through an example involving difference quotients. So here's the problem we'll be working through. First, they're asking us to find a simplified form of the difference quotient, and then they give us a table that we want to complete. So let's start with part A. It looks a little complicated, but they're just asking us to figure out how to simplify this fraction, f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. So we've got our formula for f of x up here. So the hard part of this is figuring out what f of x plus h is. But if you remember, f of x plus h just means to substitute in x plus h anywhere we see an x. So it's going to be minus 3 times the quantity x plus h squared. So that goes on the top of our fraction, negative 3 times x plus h parentheses squared. Now minus f of x, and it's important that we use parentheses here, so f of x is just that same formula from before, negative 3x squared. That's just a copy and paste. And then all divided by h. So now all we have to do is some algebra. Now, admittedly, it's some nasty algebra, but that's all we have to do now is just simplify this. So let's start by working out x plus h squared. Make sure that when you do x plus h squared, you actually multiply that out. So it's x plus h squared, which is x plus h times x plus h. And when we work all that out and do the algebra carefully, we get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Now we're going to multiply that by negative 3. So on the top of my fraction, I have negative 3 times that whole quantity, x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And then minus a minus 3x squared, that's plus 3x squared. And we still have that all divided by h. Okay, so now we're going to distribute that negative 3. So negative 3x squared minus 6xh minus 3h squared plus 3x squared all divided by h. Now notice that we're going to get a little bit of simplification. This negative 3x squared is going to cancel with that plus 3x squared. And so now on the top we've got negative 6xh minus 3h squared all divided by h. And when we cancel the h from the top and the bottom, we get negative 6x minus 3h. And that is our answer for part A. So now we're ready to move on to part B, but let's just remember that our answer that we got here was negative 6x minus 3h. So for part B, there's two ways we can do this. So now that we have a formula for this difference quotient, what we can do is plug this value of x and this value of h just into that formula. So what we could do for the first entry in our, of our table is simply say when x is 5 and h is 2, we get negative 6 times x minus 3h. That's negative 6 times 5 minus 3 times 2, which works out to be negative 36. But what we could also do is just realize that when we have f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h, we can just simply plug in our values of x and h. So x is 5, h is 2, x is 5, and h is 2. So this should also work out to be negative 36. I'm just showing you a different way to do it. So that's f of 7 minus f of 5 divided by 2. What's my rule for my function f? Well, it's negative 3x squared. Remember that from back up here. So I get negative 3 times 7 squared minus negative 3 times 5 squared all divided by 2. Just be careful with your negative signs here. So 7 squared is 49. Multiply that by 3, we get 147. So negative 147. 5 squared is 25 times negative 3 is negative 75. Minus a minus is a plus, so we get plus 75. All divided by 2. That works out to be negative 72 on the top. And again, I'm just using a calculator here, but we get negative 36 again. So one way or the other, we get negative 36 for our first entry of the table. And the other entries of the table are exactly the same. It's just a different value of h. So either use the formula that you got for part a, or just go back to the original difference quotient and plug in your values. Either way, we'll give you the same answer.